My name is Paul Taylor and I'm going to show you how to fit your tailor-made Honda CBR 1000 kit. So first of all, these are the pieces you will have received in your kit. We've got the muffler, the bag of goodies and the trim piece. These are the tools that I'm going to use, particularly an 8, 10, 12 millimeter wrench. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is to remove the seat and the lower cowling. And that is very well covered in the owner's handbook, pages 104 and 106. Okay, the first thing to do is to remove the exhaust valve servo motor. We're going to disconnect the connector here. Now, underneath there is a clip. You undo the clip and pull off the connector and then separate it. Now we're going to remove the bolt holding the servo motor. This is an 8mm hex. Pull the motor off its post and disconnect the cable. Pull the cable through from below and then put the servo motor back in and reconnect it so you don't get a FI warning light. And then clip it back in place. Loosen the clamp that's holding the stock muffler on. So you just loosen this. Next thing to do is to remove the muffler. I've got a 12 mil wrench here. We're going to take off the rear mounting bolt. Put that to one side. And then remove the footrest hanger. And just let it rest to one side. rest loose, the muffler will drop down to one side and pull it off backwards, threading the cable through. Okay, now the next thing to do is to remove the heat shield from the back of the footrest. We've got a little bolt at the front here, taking that off, although be careful because these are very soft headed and uh, require care. Removing. And then there's this bolt at the back here, which has a nut on the back. So I'm slipping in an 8mm wrench and loosening this one. And then you don't need to uh, fit this again. We're going to now the final bit of preparation is just to put a little bit of silicone foam on the inside of the lower cow. So this is in your goodie bag and you want to put this edge up against the edge here by the bolt hole and then just tuck it into the fold in the plastic. Now we're ready for assembly. So you've got your muffler. We're going to slip it on to the headers but at a slight angle so it goes underneath the suspension linkage and then once you've got it engaged roll the muffler up and behind the footrest plate and then push the muffler all the way home now I'm just going to put the footrest plate back on
once you've tightened the bolts uh, carefully, we're just going to put this bolt back through the stock bolt and through the bracket on the back and let it rest there. Now we're going to tighten up the muffler clamp. This is a 10 mil socket and you'll find that the clamp tightens up quite easily as it takes up the slack and then goes a little bit tight as it starts to crush the tube. But once it goes tight you still need to crank it down and make sure that it's firmly attached. If you have a torque wrench, the torque setting is 25 foot-pounds, which is pretty tight. After you've tightened the bolt, just grab the muffler and make sure you don't feel any movement to make sure that the clamp is tight. Okay, after mounting the muffler, we're going to put the lower cowl back in. Again, follow the instructions in the owner's manual. Once you've tightened the stock bolt on either side for the lower cowling, we want to take the trim piece and hook it up underneath the cowling over the exit and behind the bolt and push the bolt through the hole, the top mounting hole of the bracket. So we've just got that there. And then we can put in the stop bolt through the rear of the fairing and the new trim piece. That's going to bolt in there as per stock. And lastly, we want to take the nut and replace it onto the back of the mounting bolt. From your bag of goodies you want to take this little black cross-headed screw and align the bracket on the back of the muffler with the hole in the trim piece and then put the screw through the hole engage the well nut and tighten it. You don't need to over tighten it you just want to see the well nut bulging across the back. Okay now we've got everything mounted we need to come back to the exit here and check that there is clearance all the way around the exit pipe and that the carbon is not touching in any place. If it is, you may just need to go back and twist the muffler on the headers just to locate this. But this one looks good, no contact. So the final thing is to come in and tighten the nut from the bracket to the strap because that was just finger tight. So there I am. Now everything is in place and I'm satisfied with the fit. I'm just tightening this nut there. Now on the right hand side the final detail is to put this bit of plastic trim over the join, the overlap between the carbon trim piece and the stock bodywork. There you go. On the left hand side the final thing to do is to put the spacer and the bolt for the rear of the stock lower cow. Just slip that in the back there and the bolt and then into the mounting. And there you go, that is the fitting of your new tailor-made exhaust. Okay, now the last thing to do is to fire it up, check everything is running well, take it for a good ride and then after 100 miles or so be sure to go back and retighten the inlet clamp onto the headers. Very important. Make sure everything is tight. And ride safe.